So I get this special monster here in for repair. This is a Seagate NAS that runs on Windows Storage Server 2012. Let's try to fix it. This thing right here is very expensive and the data is very sensitive. So check this out. This is a charger for it and uh, the second we plug it in, boom, the charger dies right here. You take it out and boom, it's back on. So there must be a short somewhere on this board. Let's take this thing apart. Got the shell off and now I need to unhook all these cables. So I removed them here, but I still have to remove all the drives to remove the back plate to be able to pull this out. And we're gonna have to label these. Okay, now we got to that board, we have to unscrew and lift. I'm gonna have to do all that, it was just uh, screws on the side and I pulled out the riser card. Okay, finally I got the motherboard extracted. So it's time to take out the multimeter and test the power area here. After a shit ton of testing, something didn't add up. The top two holes are supposed to have 12 volts. However, this is supplying 12 volts on the two side ones. This is the wrong charger. And the other charger that was supplied with it doesn't work, so it was just a charger problem. It even says it on the damn charger right here, ground to the side, and the other one has the ground on the bottom. I'm gonna put this back together. All right, I put it back together here. Oh, see, I'm gonna buy this one. Okay, I finally got it here. And yes, that looks like the right one. And I just plugged it up here and boom, look at that. It's on, initializing.